Planeswalkers. My name is Tyler, and welcome to the newest episode of Commander Coliseum, where we've got a returning guest, we've got a kind of returning guest, and we have someone brand new uh, joining me today. We have, over immediately to my right, we have Chris. Uh, down there in the bottom right, we have MTG in Quarantine, a.k.a. MJ. And underneath me, we have Infamous Fridge and his Gurgolos. His Gurlos. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, actual chalk that people pretend is food. Um, it is a sacrifice for Gur. I, I, would Gur, I guess Gur would eat anything, wouldn't he? Uh, yep. But yeah, we're just we're here. We're going to play some fun Commander. And uh, we're going to start with... Our newcomer over here, Chris, uh, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us about your deck, uh, and how you're going to lose to my army of Scarecrows. <laughs> well, I am going to lose. Uh, what's going on, guys? I'm Chris, or also known as Yabika on Twitch, Twitter, pretty much every social out there. Um, I kind of just play video games, so that's my whole stick. But I recently got back into MTG, and uh, I'm playing Azuri. And basically all I want to do is make one ones, make tokens, and make experience counters, and try to beat the Scarecrows that I'm very scared of. I mean, you don't have to be scared unless you're a bird. It's in the name. Am Crow. Like Shiny. Oh. A lot of things in this deck are foil, so it's, oh, yeah, I'm close are... enough to a crow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play the Scarecrow deck against someone who's playing Bird Tribal. Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll get straight to it. Don't worry. All right. Uh, what, what's up with you, MJ? Hey, what's up, Tyler? It's good to be back. So, hey, everybody, I'm MJ from the MTG in Quarantine channel. I've got a podcast where I talk about all things MTG, mostly try to keep the everything positive in a world of negative pessimism. I try to be a voice of reason amongst the chaos. And I am playing my brand new commander deck. Just put this, just leave this up earlier today. I'm going to be playing Sithist Harvest Hand. And effectively, I'm just going to be playing a bunch of enchantments, hopefully vomiting them on the board, and just drawing a lot of cards. And if I deck myself, I really don't care. That's effectively <laughs> what I'm going to be doing here. There we go. Well, playing with the deck that uh, Fridge has brought, that actually might be a real threat. Uh, and speaking of Fridge... Hi, I'm Tim, otherwise known as uh, Infamous Fridge. Uh, I mostly just hang around on Twitter and you know, talk to random people. Um, and I was lucky enough to come on the show last time, and I'm back again with uh, Gur just wants to have fun. Uh, this time with a sacrifice, so maybe Gur will have more fun because it'll be all sugared up. Um, <laughs> but I'm playing group hug, so I'm going to make all your decks work uh, better. Which is so, good because I think uh, Chris only has like 30 lands in his thing, so drawing as many cards uh, is going to be helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was 29, but I added one more right before. <laughs> uh, and y'all should know me at this point. I'm Tyler. Uh, I just finished a deck from the collection that I've been building for months now. Uh, I've, I've got, like, at any given time, 15 to 20 decks that I'm in the pro process of building. Uh, and this one is Reaper King. Uh, I, I love Tribal, and Reaper King is hits all those notes. Scarecrows, uh, fun ability, just he does everything. And so we're going to blow things up with, with Scarecrows. Uh, so now we'll go uh, one, two, and three. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it looks like I will be going first. I call it rigged. Uh, you can call it what you want. Anyway. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Keeping this. Oh, uh, it's not very often that I say let's keep a one lander, but you know what? Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to mill. Yeah. <clears throat> but first, this is, this, I mean, mole. This is why, though. I told you I had 30 lands in this deck, right? <laughs> Literally everything in this hand is land except Kadama's Reach. Which you can use to go get more lands. <laughs> 30 lands, guys. 
This is what happens. That's why I went down to 29 in the first place. Um, while you do that, if everyone's cool with it, I might just just start things off here. I don't see why not. Oh, cool. Don't worry. Keeping the one lander was fine. Uh, so watch this. We're going to go command tower. I'm going to turn off my light. One second. There we go. We're going to go command tower. Tap the command tower. Soul ring. But wait. Tap the soul ring. Rigged. Uh, we are going to foretell a card. So that's just going to hang out over there. Uh, and I will pass to MJ. Mm, I don't like that. It seems ominous. I foretell grave danger. <laughs> I will also play a hidden card. I will play a forest, and I will immediately tap it for the first of my ver many, many hidden items. Hidden gorillas. Oh my god. For Do you one. run... Do you run all the enchantments that turn into things? Most of them, yes. Yes! Uh, so when one of my opponents successfully casts an Ardback spell, which is kind of late now, if Hidden Grills is an enchantment, it becomes a 5-3 creature with Trample that counts as a soldier. Oh, I got good news. You're going to get you're gonna get that thing turned on real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm running a whole lot of these in this deck because they're funny and, you know, they, they really work with the deck. And I will pass over to Chris. I'm scared. Hmm. Okay, well, we're just going to start with a command tower, and uh, we're going to pass. <laughs> okay. All right, what do you got, Gert? We're going to draw. We're going to start with a jungle shrine and pass. Okay, we will untap, untap, draw. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Uh, we're going to play this Path of Ancestry, which will enter tap. And uh, are we ready for that enchantment to become a creature? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, I'm going to tap three. Actually, I'm only going to tap two. I'm not going to do what I was going to do, but it's it it just requires an artifact, right? Yeah. Cool. Swift foot boots. Oh, yeah. Comes an art, comes a creature. And, yeah, I will pass. Okay, I'm going to make my token here. Of course, I used the wrong side of the token for this. Of course, I did. Hidden right. value. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> gonna play a planes. I'm immediately gonna tap him. I'm gonna cast Sithis. She really just a two drop? Yep. Holy crap. And hmm. Should I go to combat? I gave um, you your five three. Yeah, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to roll a dice between Chris and Fridge. I thought you'd so be I'm like, telling... yeah, cool, attack Tyler. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Chris is odd, Fridge is even, I rolled a 19, so Chris, choo-choo. And then I, quick. I'm going to pass my... Well, they're hidden, so of course. And I'm going to pass my turn. Yeah, how's they're it feel having a... An attacking 5-3 on turn 2. <laughs> I'm not feeling good about it. I'm going back down to 29 lands after this, I swear. <laughs> when we're reborn, <laughs> tapped. Go ahead, Fridge. Alright, untap. Draw. I'll play an Arcane Sanctum and I'll pass. Okay. We will untap. Uh, oh no. Um, actually, yeah. So we're going to tap Path of Ancestry for, let's say, let's say a green and a soul ring for two to play Wild Field Scarecrow. He's a 1 4 with Defender. I can pay two to sacrifice him to search my library for up to two basic lands. Reveal them and put them into my hand and then shuffle my library. Uh, but because Path of Ancestry was used to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with my commander, I get to scry one. Mm, nope. 
that going right down to the bottom. And well, there's really no point in putting the boots on him because he's got defender. Anyway, I'll pass the turn. Okay, untapping. Scoot, scoot. Drawing card. Going to tap this forest float the mana. I'm going to play the Selesnia Sanctuary, returning forest to hand. With my floating green, I'm going to play Shaper's Sanctuary, so whenever a creature I control becomes the target of a spell or ability someone else controls, I draw a card. Or I may draw a card. That'll trigger Sithis, I will gain a life, and I will draw a card. Oh, no. And then I have one mana remaining. I cannot do anything with it, so I'm going to go to combat here. And uh, Fridge, five at you. I may may have made a mistake letting that thing get online so quickly. (laughs) And I will pass my turn of seven cards in hand. Cool. Alrighty. I'm going to untap. I see that land. And draw. (sighs) <sighs> Land feels good today, guys. It's... Oh, God. Okay, well... I guess we'll play Land for Turn, Island. And I will tap a green and a blue for Simic Extendency. I'll just set this to the side oh. right here. And pass my turn to Fridge. Alright. Untap. Draw. Okay. I'll play an Opulent Palace. It's getting all of the Trilands and, online. Yep. And then I will play a... Let's... Let's start getting some fun stuff going with uh, Howling Mine. Yes! Oh! <laughs> I'm, I'm totally going to deck myself, aren't I? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is this is why we bring you on, Fridge. Uh, That's the only draw, reason why. <laughs> I'll draw a card, and I'll draw another for Howling. Hey, uh, play this island. And I have access to five mana, which... I've almost actually got enough for Reaper King, which is really weird. Um, I think I'm going to chill. I'm just going to chill here. Wait, am I? Yes, I'm just going to chill here. I will pass to uh, MJ. I will untap. I'm going to draw for Howling Mine. I will draw for turn. God, I love Howling Mine so much. I'm going to play this forest for my hand. And then I will gonna tap one. And if you like to the hidden gorillas, you're going to like these hidden predators. What is that one? So whenever one of my opponents controls a creature with power four or greater, it'll turn into a four four creature. Okay, that one's not as frightening. That'll trigger my commander. I gain a life, and I will draw a card. Turn one play I could have had. Um, let's see, then... I've always wanted to make those enchantments work. Gonna tap three. I'm going to cast a Spear of Heliod. So all my creatures get plus one, plus one. I'm gonna gain another life, draw another card. Wait, I have a response to the Spear. Okay. Blue, blue. Well, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw no matter what. So yeah, no, I that, still that still happens. I'm gonna pay five with double blue, and I'm gonna forceful denial it. So mm. cascade and then counter target spell. You will try. <laughs> no, I have no response. All right. So first we got cascade. So I'm get to exile the top until I get four CMC or less. Uh, that's a six. That's a land. Cool. My defender was alone, so I get one-eyed scarecrow. 
Uh, two, three defender. Creatures with flying my opponent's control get minus one, minus O. Oh. oh. And then these no. go to the bottom. <laughs> okay. Um, that makes things really easy. All right, Tyler, I'm going to swing at you with my 5-3 with Trample. I'm going to throw my 2-3 and my 1-4 under it. Hmm. All right. I so have no response to that. That will kill that, and you get... It's a 5-3, so you can kill one of them. Uh, let's see. I'm going to kill... Ooh. Wildfield gets me lands into my hand if I sacrifice it, and this yeah, one... Yeah, I'm... And you, and you, you have enough... Uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the 2-3. The Alrighty. Goodbye, One-Eyed Scarecrow. Alright, so my gorillas are no longer hidden. And I will move to discard. I'll discard this... Fo uh, I'll discard this planes and I'll pass. I have righted Alrighty. my wrong, guys. <laughs> <laughs> after, it, after it hit you each for five, I took care of it. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. You made friends on this day. All right, I'm going to play land for turn, Urza Saga. And I will tap all four for Azuri. Oh. You and for I will pass to Fridge. Oh, wow. Oh, I did. It's fine. It's already too late. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Draw your extra card. Okay. We're here to have fun. I'll just sit there. <laughs> All right. I will draw my Howling Mine card, and then I will draw my card. Okay. We're going to keep getting some... We're going to keep getting freaky. I'm going to pay three for Rights of Flourishing. Well, what does that one do? Uh, each player draws an additional card at their, ups, at their draw step, and you may play additional land... <laughs> This is what I was talking So we get to draw three cards and play two. This is what I was talking I, about. I'm so doomed, and I love it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to play a, okay. a dismal backwater, and I'll gain life. God, and I love I'll this deck so much. A Temple of the False God. I remember, I think the last time you played this deck, we had two of those out at the same time, along with like a Horn of Greed and a Howling Mine, and it was just, everyone was drawing like six cards and playing like four lands. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Alright, you doing anything else? No, that's my turn. Alright. Well, so I will untap. I will draw three cards. One, two... Three. Hey, would you believe none of those were lands? <laughs> uh, actually, that's technically not true. Uh, I'm going to play this Malakir. No, I'm not. No, I'm, not. I'm going to do this. I'm stupid. Uh, I'm going to tap the Soul Ring for two and sacrifice the Scarecrow to go find two basic lands and put them into my hand. Ooh. Uh, we're going to find this forest. It's because all my lands are here at the bottom. And we're going to find this plains. And we'll shuffle. And I'm just, I'm going to play them as my two lands for turn. Which I think... Yeah. Uh, black, red, blue, green, white. We will bring out the Reaper King. I will activate my hidden predators. Oh, yeah, there you go. He is a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, my other oh, scarecrow... Four, four. This is a 4-4. Four, four. No, I'm saying yeah. the Reaper King is a 6-6. Oh, six, yeah, six. Reaper King, yeah. Uh, all my other Scarecrows get plus one, plus one, and when another Scarecrow comes into play under my control, I just get to blow up a permanent. So, from, as it was foretold on turn one, Scorn Effigy, who casts for zero if you foretell him. Uh, 
at being a scarecrow, he will trigger Reaper King. Um, I'm I'm gonna blow up the uh, I gotta blow up the Simic Ascendancy. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> Sad. And I got seven cards in hand. Sad. I played two cards. <laughs> It's an alternate win con, and I love alternate win cons because I know that it, what it they was can smart. Do. It was smart. Uh, and yeah, with that, I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I'm going to draw a card. The Reaper King. For one, two. Let's see, are we drawing three now? Drawing three and playing yeah, three two cards, lands. Oh, and boy. you play two lands. It's great. Oh, if I had lands to play, I would have this forest. Um. I am going to. Hmm. Going to. God. Actually, no, I'm going to tap the Selesnia Sanctuary for two. I'm going to avenge your Semic Ascendancy. Chris, I'm going to play Kenra's Transformation on the Reaper King. Oh, it'd be cool if you didn't. So he's no, I, I totally <laughs> won't. No. I'm going to. Yep, I'm going to draw two cards because I, I can trip off of that and then Sithis trigger goes off. Yeah, you land. I'm going to play this forest. Oh, man. Then That's upsetting. I'm going to... So I'll tap... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um... Oh, I should have waited one turn so I could have given him the boots. <laughs> Yes, that, that does happen sometimes. So um, if I were to make copies of the Reaper King right now, would the copies also be 3-3 Elks? Because that's what he currently is. Yes, they would be. Oh, goody. Then, let's see. Come get your venison. So many damn cards. What do I do with these damn cards? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to combat here. Do you want to swing at me? Um, no, I'm going to go back and I'm going to swing at our overlord fridge for four. Over... <laughs> our card drawing <laughs> overlord. He's helping all of us, so let's kick him. <laughs> Alright, second main. I need someone to kill my scarecrow. I want him back. Um, Yo, Chris, I know I used him to blow up your thing, but you want to help me out here? <laughs> Not feeling it. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to play this Dawn of Hope. So whenever I gain life, I may pay two, and I can draw a card if I do. I'm going to draw a card, and then gain a life. So Nine. here's the funny thing. Uh, here's the other funny thing that on what you've yeah. done to Reaper King. So, a lot there's a whole cycle of scarecrows that gain abilities so long as you control creatures that are of certain colors. And normally Reaper King turns them all on because he's all colors, but now he only affects the ones that have green. Okay. I'm gonna I go to my it. discard phase here. And I get rid of this Ridian Revel, drawing enough cards as it is, and um, I'm going to pass turn. Do I want to get rid of this one? I'm going to get rid of the Sacred Mesa as well. Go ahead. All right, time to untap. Urza Saga is on its second phase, and I draw three cards. Jesus. Okay. Maybe this will help out a little bit. It did not like, help out any. Just gonna let you guys like know. Lands. Does it kill the Reaper King? <clears throat> no, no, it does not. Can it kill right. the Reaper King? No, no, it cannot. Don't fear the Reaper King. We're gonna play Hinterland oh. Harbor. And let's see. I guess we can put another forest. Oh, we don't have a basic forest, so we'll put a basic forest in as well. And then we'll tap that basic forest there. Or Atlanta War Elves. And I'm going to get an experience counter on Azuri. 
We'll just put one little one in the top left. And then go ahead, go to combat and put that one one counter on Lana War Elves. And I will pass my turn. Oh, actually, you should, you should no, with Azuri. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to tap two and tap Urza Saga to create a zero zero Thopter. Is it a Thopter? Oh, I thought it was a construct. Or construct. You're right. Sorry. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the Urza construct. And it'll have one one on it because it'll be the only artifact in play. And then I'll pass to fridge while I get this token. Don't you get an experience counter, too? Yes, I'm, I'll get to that once I put the token on. Don't worry. All right. I'll untap. I'll draw three cards. One, two, and three. Okay. When I'll play a, a Temple of Epiphany. I will scry one. Yeah, we'll leave it up there. Did it give you the idea of how to kill the Reaper King? No. <laughs> This is how I'll I win pay... the game. Just no one attacks me. I'll <laughs> pay I one don't want one. to come offline or to come online. Four. Um. That'll be our little construct there, because I cannot find the token for it. So I'm going to pay two for a Felwar stone. Let's put that over here. And then I'll tap his temples online. I'll tap that for Swans of Bryn Argal. What does that do? Uh, if a source would deal damage to Swans of Bryn Argal, prevent that damage. And that source's control draws the cards equal to the damage prevention. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. And because I just don't want to discard the card, I'm just going to play it. I'm going to play Prosperity for zero. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just discarded it. So, Pastor. Uh, we all get to have, they all get to draw zero cards. Yeah. Okay, Yay. So we will untap. I will draw one, two, three. Okay, well. Planes. Uh, I guess I'm going to tap the planes and this forest. And I'll play three visits. Go look for a forest and put it onto the battlefield. Have another forest now. Yep, there we go. And it will come in untapped. Hmm. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I could play another land, but I'm not going to. So instead, let's get couple defenders for me online. So we'll play tap four. Path of Ancestry will say taps for a blue and we'll play Lockjaw Snapper. Uh, Path of Ancestry first I could describe one. Uh, uh, yeah you can stay there. Uh, Lockjaw Snapper is a 2-2 with Wither so he's got like half of Infect. He deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. And when he's put into the graveyard from play, uh, I put a minus one, minus one, minus one counter on each creature with a minus one, minus one counter already on it. Uh, he would be a 3-3 three, three in blowing something up if my Reaper King wasn't an elk. Um, oh, duh, here he is. Uh, let's play... Hey, Tyler, if you attack... I get to draw more cards, yeah. 
uh, I'm going to play this Wing Rattle Scarecrow, uh, who is a 2-2. Uh, if I control a blue creature, he has flying, which I don't anymore. And if I control a black creature, he gets persist. Uh, and yeah, I will swing at... Do I need to draw more? I don't need to draw more cards. I'm going to swing the Reaper King at uh, MJ. Yep, I will not block. I will take three. Now, I'm important thing, that's that. still commander damage. Yep. <laughs> I'll kill you that way. Arcan yes, <laughs> only take six more turns. All right, and I will pass. All right. Tyler, if, well, uh, if Rich would have blocked you there, uh, you would have killed the Reaper King. <laughs> How big are those swans? Four three. The four to three. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm gonna I play said this. I would block. I know you did. I, I, I don't know why I thought the swans were like a one three. So I was like, eh, it's nice, I, but I don't need to draw more cards. Uh... Um, so I'm going to play these winding canyons for turn. Going to tap my Selesnia Sanctuary. Uh, I'm going to play. To... Cry as and a Johnny's as, pride mate. Soon as this Ooh, is that's over. a thing. Then going to tap one. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. That would be dumb. Going to tap this and two. Going to cast this bow of Nylea. Ooh, yep. And I'm gonna trigger multiple things. Gonna gain a life, draw a card, and my pride mate is going to gain a plus one, plus one counter. I can get a plus one counter out. There we go. Oh, that's not dead. And. Right. Okay. Hmm, I don't see any profitable attacks here. Good, but then I would lose my hidden predators and they wouldn't be hidden anymore. <laughs> I just noticed the over-under on me decking myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll block with my infinite token. That's like an emblem. Um, yeah, I'm going to just pass my turn and... Uh, Get rid of something in my hand. Alrighty, I will untap while you do that. I'm so upset. And we're still drawing three? Still drawing yep. three and still playing two drawing lands. Drawing three, playing two lands. Okay, maybe I'll get something that's not land. Oh boy. <clears throat> Alright, after draw, the third little thing goes on Urza Saga, and I can go search for an artifact with mana cost zero or one. So I'm going to do that real quick. Is it Memnite? No. Is it Memnite with a gun? Yes. <laughs> was just, it was a custom card I found on a website that oh. I used to use for custom cards, and it's literally just a picture of Memnite, but it's got a that that hand holding a pistol out at you, it's just got that on it. Its name is just changed to Memnite with a gun. Oh my god! But it's still like, as, what is it? A one one or a zero one? I love it. Why? <laughs> because Memnite needs a gun. Also, it uh, was Memnite legendary. is a one one, I believe. <laughs> god. All right, so I chose soaring. For more land, because why not? But this deck is not very artifact heavy. Just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Right, shuffling real quick. All right, set that right there. Clean it up a little. There we go. And. My two lands for the turn will be Did you also lose? the forest and Urza Saga is going to blow up. Yeah. I 
I forgot I put this guy in this. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's, never mind. He's a 2 2 now, though. True, he is. And. How many hand? Yeah, I'll go ahead and combat. We will put two 1 1 counters on Lana War Elves because why not? We like our mana guys to. We like the dorks to be buffed sometimes, you know? He's on a journey from no longer being a dork but to being a jock. He's he's hitting the gym. He's hitting the gym pretty hard. He's a bork. <laughs> I'm going to swing the uh, construct at fridge so I can draw some cards, hopefully. How big is it? It's just a 2-2. Two -two. You draw two cards. Yep, and it dies. I think I put those on, swans. Give me something in my... I actually need, please. I think those swans might be in my come tribal commander deck list because of what's happening to their wings. We are gonna tap one forest, <laughs> and seems we're gonna noxious legit. revival on semi ascendancy. Uh, but I worked so hard to get rid of that. I it know, cost me my I know. commander. I want to take it back, though. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> and I will discard and pass to Fridge. All right. I'm going to untap and draw three cards. One, two, that three. Forest. You'll play Temple of Silence. I will scry. Yeah, leave that there. I'll play Frontier Biovalk. Bio Bivouac. Bivouac. It's just, I love the word so much. I'm going to tap one. Hmm. Okay. We'll pay five for Gur. I'm gonna go get a land. The boy, he's arrived. We're all doomed. He has, he has come. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, that's. I was really hoping somebody would start singing, singing the Gur song. Doom, doom, doomy, doom, doom. <laughs> Doom, 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 doom. I haven't watched Invader Zim in so long. And yet, one episode remains... Or, no, two episodes remain, like, fresh in my head. The one where he just consumes a whole bunch of kids' organs. What? <laughs> oh, did you not watch the show? I did, but I don't remember that episode. Uh, Zim is trying to come across as being more human, and he comes to the conclusion that the thing that makes humans human is that they have organs. So he harvests the organs of, like, the kids that he goes to school with, and he just replaces them with things, and he eats them. And so eventually Dib finds him, and he's just, like, super fat in the cafeteria, because he's just stuffed full of children's organs. And uh, he mentions, like... Oh my like, god, a, I do remember this. He's like, yeah, I got, like, three hearts, so if anything, that makes me more human than you. <laughs> and it's just, he, like, burps at one point, and an intestine comes out. This was a children's show. I I didn't register that that was organs. Yeah, because Dib but, is like oh my god! But I remember him being all, fat. Yeah, yeah. Dib is like X-raying all it, the kids. Uh, oh and my like, god! They've just got stuff shoved into them. <laughs> it was so pretty I got dark. Relic, I got Reliquary Tower for my lands. Okay. So now I don't have to discard any cards anymore. Seems good. I'm gonna pay three for Noble Benefactor. Um. When no benefactor is put into any graveyard from play, each player may search his or her library for any one card and put that card into his or her hand. Each player searches his or her library, shuffles it afterwards. Oh, so we all just get Basically, to Tutor. Yep. If you kill it. And I'm done. Okay. I will untap. Sad elk noises. Okay, and we... I can help you out with that. Uh, I, yeah, this time I'm actually gonna... Wow, really? 
Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing at Fridge with, with Reaper King. Okay. I will block. In response to the block, I'm going to tap the command tower for a black, and I'm going to Malakir Rebirth Reaper King. So when he dies, he immediately, I lose two life, and he immediately comes back into play under my control tapped. I'm going to uh, tap four. Please don't. Two blue. I'm two begging colorless you. To uh, fuel for the cause that. Cool. Well, it's fine. Reaper King will still die, and I'll, what, draw three cards? Yeah. Okay, so Reaper King dies. I'll draw three cards. Man, all of that and no lands. It's fine. Uh, we'll go... I guess we'll just spend some time setting up. We'll tap three for Kodama's Reach. Ooh, I like the art on that one. Yeah, the classic. Um, and this mountain is going to come into play tapped. And this mountain would come to my hand, but I haven't played a land this turn, so I'm just going to put it into play. And if I somehow manage to get to another land, I can play it, but I don't think I have the means to. Uh, but I will... God, I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. I'm scared of scarecrows, bro. Uh, I will tap... <laughs> Four. No, not that way. I'm going to leave these two untapped, but I'm going to tap four for Sissage Ring. And with that, I will tap Sissage Ring and this island to play Foundry Inspector. He's not a scarecrow, but my artifact. Spells cost one less to cast, and I probably should have cast him first, but here we are. Um, have you had that in hand since the beginning? No, I, I drew it this turn. Oh, okay. It, it was the first of the six cards that I've drawn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rearrange these, but yeah, I'm going to pass the turn, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight cards in hand. Um, so okay. I'm going to discard uh, Thornwatch Scarecrow. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap my my bow of Nylea. I'm going to gain three life. I will untap. And that's going to put another counter on my private mate. I'm going to draw one, two, three cards. Gonna play this plains, and I'm going to play a forest. Then I'm gonna tap one. I'm going to play a font of fertility in glorious promotional foil. Nice. So I can pay one to green and sacrifice instant speed to ramp. So I'm going to draw this card. Gonna gain a life. Gonna gain another counter in my pride mage. Then. Going to pay this forest. I'm going to play Spider Umbra on Sithis, so she now gets plus one, plus one, has reach, and has totem armor. She's a spoder. Gonna gain one, gonna draw a card. Going to put another counter on my pride maid. It's funny you, you bring that up, uh, Tyler. Because I have a goodie for you. I have a hidden spider. Oh, cool. That's my least favorite kind. So when one of your opponents successfully casts a creature with flying, if it is an enchantment, it becomes a 3-5 creature. I can block creatures with flying and counts as a spider. So it becomes a giant, or a giant spider. Yeah, or, well, or it's, it's actually better than a giant spider. Oh, it becomes a mammoth draw. spider. Yeah. Who's literally just another... one one bigger. <laughs> now that's the spider I hate. Okay, I, um, I woke up the other night, and it was like 2 in the morning, because my allergies woke me up, 
and I turned and I looked at my wall right like behind my like my bed like where my bed is pushed up against and there was just a spider like the size of a quarter walking along Ooh. my wall so I screamed and my cat who was laying at my legs like his head shot up and he looked at me and he looked and like he made contact like he looked at the spider on the wall looked back at me and then just laid his head back down I was like this is why I have you okay um can I go to combat here going to swing kind of want oh, do I want more cards that's the question yes um, you do Draw more cards. Do it, coward. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler. I'm gonna swing my seven-seven at you. Uh, it doesn't have trample, does it? Nope, but it does have death touch. For what that's worth. It it's not. Uh, it's gonna kill anything I throw under it. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll throw the scorn effigy, the two-three under it. Okay. All right. So that he served his purpose. Then I have nothing else to do with my turn. Uh, or do I? So yeah, five mana, six mana. Hmm. I'm just going to pass and drop that. This increasing devotion in my graveyard because I don't need that. Go okay. ahead. Okay. At the end of your turn, I'm going to tap three command tower. Hairland Harbor and Lana were reborn, and I'm gonna cross and grip the uh, the spider enchantment because I don't like spiders. Oh, wait, which spider enchantment? That that one that he's touching. Okay. <laughs> one. I wanted to clean his board Oprah. a little. I wanted to clean his board a little. It was getting a little dirty, you know, a little cluttered. Anything <laughs> to get rid of the spiders. Yes, and I, I, mean, I, I, my, I, I, I don't like it either. But on the other hand, a three-five for one single green mana that works in this deck—it's too much not to. It, it is very good. That's why I had to get rid of it. That, and I hate spiders too. One, I, I've oh, I want to put together like a five-color enchantress deck that runs just no creatures, just all those enchantments that turn into creatures. Yeah, I, I think I've got five or six of them in here. I've got all the green ones. I think I took the white one out, one of the white ones out. Because I no, wanted to certainly one person. that turns into a crocodile. Yeah. We're going to do a forest per turn and an island per turn. There, so the uh, the blue one that turns into a crocodile, there's a show that I used to do on the channel that I might revive later, uh, Tribal Talk, where I talk about like tribes and commander that need like more support. And one of the earlier episodes I did was four crocodiles. And I had completely forgotten that Hidden Crocodile existed or whatever it was called. And so I get to the point where I, I had covered like everything. I was like, yeah, so that's going to be all of the support that crocodiles currently have. And through this like whole paragraph of me talking, there's just this faded image of Hidden Crocodile slowly passing across the screen because I never talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or uh, was it hidden from you? Ooh, there we go. Ooh, we got there. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, tap Hinterland Harbor. And actually, I'm just going to tap an island in a forest for this. And it's going to make a comeback. We're going to bring back Simic Ascendancy, guys. We love it. So much fun. And then we're going to tap... Let's see. Two islands... A forest and the soul ring to bring in a Merkfield Liege, which will give all green creatures besides him one one and all blue creatures besides him one one. Only the and ones also I can that. untap Yes. And uh I can untap all green and or blue creatures I control during every other player's untap step. Seems good. Is so good. He is very good. And then I will tap the last four. There we go. Uh, and play Toothy in what I think is Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but when he comes in, I get to search for Purr. So we'll do that. And also my experience counters will go up by two. So Azuri is at five. We're going to graft those 1-1 uh, one -one counters on Lana War onto Toothy to make him a 3-3. Three -three. Set that to the side, and Simic Ascendancy is going to get two counters due to that. 
And let's search for Purr. Hopefully he is right there where I want him to be. He was not at the bottom. That would have been so quick. It would have been too easy. They're going to make me work for it. I swear if he was next draw and I just went through this entire deck. Oh, there he is. He was, he was very close to the top. And there we go. And he goes into my hand. And we'll move to combat, and we'll put five one-one counters onto Toothy, which will put five one-one counters onto Simic Ascendancy as well. And for combat, I will swing. Mm. I kind of want to get some revenge, but that death touch looks gross. I'll swing at Fridge with our little Land of War Elves. It is a 6-6. Six, six. Little. The little one-drop 6-6. Six, six. Um, yes. I'm going to block with Noel Benefactor. So okay. We all get to go search for We all card. get to tutor? Yeah. Cool. So it's basically Demonic Tutor, right? Yeah. yeah, it goes into your hands. Okay, cool. Do we have to reveal it? No. Nope. Okay. Ah... Uh... I bet Tyler went and got something to kill my Simic Ascendancy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Ah, uh, sad. No, I'm gonna blow up more than just the Simic Ascendancy. If you got what I think you got, don't you dare. I got my own Land of War Elves. But just <laughs> super bad. <laughs> just super buff. I just went and got a buff Land of War. It's okay. No, bad. A bad Land of War Elves? There's no such thing. I, I got just the worst mana dork. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't a two CMC that taps for green be a worse Land of War Elf? Yeah, but okay, what about yeah. three CMC that taps for green? Does it tap for just one green? No, it taps for one of any color, but... It's, uh, it, I guess That's technically, just the worst I guess technically, if it's an artifact creature, it does only cost two. Thank you. All right, I have five cards in hand, and I will pass to Fridge. During his untap, I get to untap Lana War Elves. Mm. Draw one. Draw two. Draw three. Okay, let's see. Two. We'll do white. We're going to put these over here. No, we'll leave those there. Green. Red. I need my lands to be nice and in order. Yeah, I did the same. Blue. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on. We're, we're gonna go. Uh, Gers gonna spin his wheels. Oh god. Well, that was. I'll play my Tranquil Cove from the Exile Hand cards. Gain a life. I will play Tempting Contract. I'm being in my upkeep. Each opponent may create a treasure token. For each opponent who does, I create a treasure token. Oh, I love that card so much. And then I'll play Sheltering Agent. Uh, cumulative upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on a creature and opponent controls. It's a 5-5 five, five with Trample. Oh. And then we're going to go with I'll play Command Tower for my hand, for my second land drop. Gonna pay three for Chromatic Lantern. All my lands tap for any color. And then I'm gonna pay three for an Avatar of Growth. Each player may search the library after two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield. Oh. Right now? <laughs> yep. Okay. 
Um, I have no basics, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shuffle my library. I'm not gonna go search it. Man, do basic lands. Well, Did I'm you... gonna say at this point, I almost have every single land in my deck on the actual uh, field here. So I'm gonna find these two swamps, and they go into play <laughs> untapped. Yep, untapped. Yeah, I'm finding a forest of plains. We're going to get an island, and let's see if I have another island in here. I might not. Oh, we do. All right. I'm going to actually respond to that fridge. I'm going to crack my font of fertility, so I'm going to search for one more while I'm searching for her lands. Kill him. I was worried I wasn't going to have enough mana to do everything that I wanted to do, but... Uh, now you do. Yeah, no, that's not going to be an issue anymore. And I will uh, pass turn. Okay, so we will untap all of this mana so much mana oh, look at all these beautiful colors and that's over there we'll draw three cards okay and we're going to play this buried rune and i guess we'll play this mountain Okay, so because all of my artifact creatures cost one less, we're going to tap five plus one for the commander tax to bring back Reaper King. Okay. It's a thing. Uh, I'm going to tap this mountain to then equip him with the swift foot boots. Any response? Nope. Okay, my boy is safe. Get swifty. Get swifty. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm kind of stupid, but it's fine. Do scarecrow things. Oh, oh, I'm about to. We're gonna go blue, one, and two to play spark double, targeting the Reaper King. So he will enter as a copy of Reaper King. That is not legendary with a plus one plus one counter, making him a seven seven. Which will then trigger my first Reaper King. Uh, and I will blow up Simic Ascendancy again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that, I don't think, unfortunately. It does kind of suck that he's not a scarecrow, so he. Oh, wait. He's not an artifact. Oh, I thought I had I thought I had the idea there, but I didn't have the idea there, unfortunately. Yep, it goes. Um, I'm then going to tap the command tower for a blue, and this planes and this soul ring for a f so for a blue and three for Sakashima of a thousand faces. Also targeting the Reaper King. I am very sorry for the things that I've just brought upon everyone. Uh, so Sakashima entering is going to trigger Spark Double and Reaper King. So Spark Double will blow up uh, Azuri. No. And Reaper King will blow up the Bow of Nylea. Okay, in response, I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to gain three life. Um... Because of that, also, my Wing Rattle Scarecrow now has Flying and Persist. Uh, because I have the color requirements. Uh, this one does get a reduction from Foundry Inspector. We'll tap two and we'll play Scuttlemutt. Who will trigger all three of my Reaper Kings. Uh, we will blow up i blow up a Johnny's Pride, mate. Okay, you know I'm going to draw a card each time you do that. So. Yeah, that's good. Hey! If he can't see the cards, you can't target them. I agree. Um, I like this. One sec, why are they... I will be right back. Guys! That's enough. <laughs> that's why I have cats. So they can scream at me all night instead of bark. Oh, I have two dogs. 
I want a dog, but I'm honestly like we work. Okay. Today. I have returned. Um so I Welcome get back. three targets to blow up. Oh, let's blow up Toothy. Yay, I get to draw seven cards. You're welcome. Uh, we'll blow up... We'll blow up the swans. And... I think quarantine screen might be frozen on my end. Now I got... Oh, right. And I get one more thing to blow up. Um, I'll probably blow up one of his things when he comes back, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Shout out to three Reaper Kings. Three Reaper Kings are very gross. Oh, right. poor puppies. They're just excited because someone's about to... Okay, yeah. everything's back. Okay. Um... And we'll blow up the spider umbra. Okay. Wait, so are you getting three activations or four? That was my third from playing Scuttlebutt. All right. Okay. Um, and that has me completely tapped out. Uh, so uh, this is for turning him into an elk. Uh, Reaper King, who is getting plus two, plus two from these two, so he's an 8-8, eight, eight, is coming at MJ. Okay, I'm going to block with my Hidden Predators. And that is me. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. i got 6 cards in hand, so I will pass. Okay, I'm going to see... going to go to my turn. Drawing 1, drawing 2... Drawing three. What did you play? I'm sorry. I played a forest for turn. Okay. Playing one or tapping one, I'm gonna cast burgeoning. So that's Ooh, gonna I trigger. Like this one. Ooh, I don't like that. Draw a card. Oh, I see a burgeoning. Were you not playing enough lands? <laughs> Hmm. I don't understand the concept of too much lands. What are There's these no lands thing. thing? What are these lands things you speak of here? Um, let's see. Do, do, do. What do I want to do? I have any interesting artifacts in here? I super don't. Hmm. Okay, well, I've done that. Which map do I have? Okay, I'm going to tap one. I'm going to cast this Altar of the Brood. Oh, no. Wait, and one second. Let me look at that before this continues on. Whenever a permanent it, it, enters the battlefield under his control, we all mill one. Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten. Attempting to cast Stormherd for 53. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tap one blue, and I'm going to swan song that. I didn't see you had any mana up there. Huh? Hmm. That's just one. One blue. I wouldn't have done that if I'd seen the fact you had any mana up. That changes things. I'm going to get a 3-3. Three, three. And it has, it's, yeah, you get a 2-2 two, two with flying. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, but we do all mill one. Yes. Uh, goodbye. It's a land. That's on. fine. Indentured Jin. Okay. It's tapped. Okay. Then I'm going to pass my turn discarding a couple cards. Alrighty. 
I will move to untap while you discard. I have a card in my hand that literally has nothing to do with scarecrows in the slightest. But it's a five <laughs> color card and it's just really funny. Alright, I will draw three still. Let's see if we got anything we can actually use. Not really. I'm going to put in Tide Channel Pathway and another island for my land per turn. I'm going to tap two forests and Lenore Reborn for Purr, Imaginative Rascal. And I will tap, let's see. Okay, so I will tap six for Azuri. Bring him on in. And then I will tap one, two, three, four, five, six. And Lanawar Elves for seven to uh, overload Cyclonic Rift. Sweet. No response. Okay. And moving to combat, I will put, let's see, is there is that six now? Thanks to Purr. I'll put six 1 1 counters on. Let's see, Azuri. So he is now an 11 11. Make a wish. I and I will swing. <laughs> <laughs> and I will swing of the 11 11 uh, 4 4 at Tyler to for revenge for blowing up Azuri earlier. So that's what, 15? Yes. And let's see, second main. Second main, I can't really do anything because I'm all tapped out. So go ahead, fridge. And I have to discard. Ten cards in hand. Okay. I only draw one card now because. Someone you know, had to ruin all the fun. Yeah. Moss War Bridge for the first one. Play Temple of the False God. And, oh, I play off tap. Those two for Chromatic Lantern. I will. Okay. These are all now. Tap for any mana. Okay. I'm gonna pay five for a Zerta Ancient. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, you may add an addition one mana to your mana pool that land can produce. You do, or the person tapping the mana does? Any player. Oh. So you just doubled everyone's mana? Yep. Sweet. Tap that for two for Felwar Stone. I will tap Felwar Stone and Chromatic Lantern for Exhum. Each player may put a creature card from his or her graveyard onto the battlefield. Uh, what do I have? I don't have I'm any. bringing out swans. I'm bringing out the one-eyed scarecrow, so the swans are now at 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to bring out the Starnheim Courser. Uh, Toothy's going to come back for me. The Courser also gets minus one, minus L. I'm going to float a mana for... I'm going to play Horn of Greed. So whenever we play land, we draw a card? Yep. Sweet. I'm going to play Seaside Citadel, and I'll draw a card. 
And then I have two men left. I have 16 mm. cards in hand. Jeez. Oh, you do? Okay. I'm going to play this. For folio fancies, players have no maximum hand size. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yay. And I think I have nothing else. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. Have my just cacophony of lands. Uh, I will draw one card because somebody decided to ruin all the fun. Um, <laughs> not naming names, Chris. Uh, <laughs> you had three Reaper Kings. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this. It's about to be three again, maybe. Yeah, it's, no, it's totally about to be three again. <laughs> I'm going to play this forest and draw a card. Okay. So we're going to tap this Buried Rune for two colorless and use one of those colorless to cast Soul Ring. Um, that last colorless as well as this Command Tower for double green, so for three total, we'll bring out Foundry Inspector. Uh, this soul ring tapped will bring back out my swift foot boots. Okay, so hey Chris, don't your your creatures untap? Oh yeah, thank you, thank so you. So I'm gonna tap like doesn't this. matter, but so I have double Wooberg. So I've got white, white, blue, blue, black, black, green or red, red, green, green. Use one of each of those to bring out Reaper King, who doesn't trigger off himself. Um, use, I'm going to say the red in that to equip him with Swift Foot. Wait, yeah, the red off the remaining. So now I've got four more mana still floating from this. And I'll use that four to bring back out Spark Double, copying Reaper King, and uh, blowing up Azuri because you didn't get the message the first time. <laughs> um, and we're going to basically do that again. So I've got double Wooberg. use four of that to bring back out Sakashima copying this guy blowing up the Merkfiend Liege and the Llanowar Elves this is for the rift you will pay for your crimes <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've still he got rifty so I've still got oh my God. five full Wooberg I'm, plus an extra I'm bad red. at puns So using that five full Wooberg and the extra red, we will bring out Hellkite Tyrant. You're not the only one with alternate win cons. And oh, I don't have any blue. This sucks. This is awful. This is the worst thing. We're just gonna tap four to bring back Sisage Ring. And because mm -hmm. it's one cheaper, I'll tap Sisage Ring to bring back Scuttlemutt. Uh, triggering all three of my Reaper Kings. Um, uh, we'll blow up here, we'll blow up Toothy, and we'll blow up the Zerta Ancient. Uh, and since Reaper King has haste, and he's getting plus two, plus two, so he's got another eight. Who did I attack him at last time? Was that MJ? And then he blocked? I think so, yes. All right, cool. Um, yeah, Chris, here comes eight. I'll take eight. Uh, yeah, and I will pass. Okay, that's specifically when Hellkite Tyrant. Okay. okay. And I will pass the turn.
All right, I will untap. Going to draw one measly card. <laughs> Sorry you also don't get double mana. Because <laughs> I blew up the ancient. We've got so much mana. I'm going to redeploy my Shaper Sanctuary. Then, i get this out of the way now. For five, I'm going to attempt to cast Cleansing Nova, destroying all creatures. Yeah. That'll do Fine it. Fine with me. It already I'll happened anyway. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to tap two. I'm going to recast my commander. I'm going to pay one. Going to recast Altar of the Brood. Yep. And how much man do I have left? I'm going to tap one more, and I'm going to replay Burgeoning. So everyone right, mills so one, will. and I will draw a card and gain a life. Yeah. Then I'm going to put this forest in, because I I'm didn't monk, play land for turn. Monk. So that'll trigger Alter the Brood again. I've got and then I, what, the what fridge do I draw a card? Uh, a four degree? Yeah, you, um, you play the land, you draw a card. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. I'm only allowed to play one land per turn. That's fine. Um, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have to discard anymore. Um, okay. I'm nope, going nope. to pass my turn over to you, Chris. All right. I will untap then. Don't worry, guys. He psych rift. He psych rifted us back to the Stone Age, so I scarecrowed him back to the Stone Age. We're all good now. Pretty much. But then, I mean, he also just killed every creature on the field too. So either way, we all, right. we all still have unlimited hand size, guys. Okay? Draw one measly yes. card. And let's look at that. Okay. Thinking, I am going to. Let's see, Azuri costs, what, eight now? Yeah, Jesus. It's all right. Okay. King costs nine. <laughs> Good God. Uh, land per turn is going to be a forest. I will also play a forest because he's a burgeoning. And everyone mills one. Okay. Uh, Goodbye, island. Goodbye, merchant scroll. Oof. I dictated crew fix. All right, I will tap four forests, one blue, two colorless, and I guess another blue for Azuri. He's coming back, guys. He's how making his comeback. I, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> I was waiting for that. Um, <laughs> I will tap. Let's see, two blue, a green. And command tower, as a colorless, it really doesn't matter for Glenalindra. And that's gonna put Azuri's counter up to nine. Also, let's see. I'll be right back. I gotta get food for the cats. You're all good. I'm gonna tap. Two, I believe. Yes, for Contagion Clasp. And I'll put a Neg One, Neg One on, uh. Oh, what's she called? Sithis. Okay. He's a zero one now. And, let's see, I. What, two? That's it. Uh, can't really do much with that, so I will pass the fridge. Oh, wait. Oh, during combat, all those counters go on Glenn. But now it's your turn, yes. <laughs> Okay, untap. Draw one. Hmm. Alrighty, what I miss? Ah, I untapped. Fantastic. I'm going to play Great Grove of the Burn Willows. Draw a card. So 
So I can either replay the Reaper King or I can play the really stupid five color card. I'm, I'm gonna attack Grove of the Burn Willows for Dream. Each of my opponents gain a life. I'm gonna pay three mm -hmm. for Rights of Flourishing. So we're back up to two card draws and two land plays. Okay, okay. I'll play Crumbling the Cropolis and I'll draw a card. No land from you, MJ? No. Nope. Well, I mean, I think I can choose to, so I'm just choosing not to. Gotcha. I'm going to play two for Words of Wisdom. I draw two cards, and each of the players draws a card. I love this deck so much. I love drawing cards and playing lands. I do too. It's really helped, especially since my starting hand once again had a uh, five mana in it. So, gonna pay two for Oath of Ghouls. During each player's upkeep, if there are more creature cards in that player's graveyard than a target opponent's graveyard, the player may return a creature card from his or her graveyard to his or her hand. So, and it's your upkeep. If you have more creature cards in an opponent's graveyard, you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I think that's going to be Tyler. <laughs> I currently have nine creatures in my grave. Yeah, I have yeah, two. nobody but can you, do that. But, you, but, no, but see, you get, you get to choose your target, though. Oh, okay. Well, so I so, pick someone who has less than I do, and I get to return something. A.K.A. Yes. everyone. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pay. Yep, pay five again for Golos. Let's go searching for a land. We're gonna get Makokoro, Center of the Sea. I love Mikokoro. All according to Mikokoro. Okay, and then. One of my favorite cards. I'm gonna pay four for Bold Weir Heavyweights. What do these guys do? Uh, when it comes into play, uh -oh. Battlefield. Okay. Quick test. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So we just get to go grab a creature and be like, hey, let's put this into play. Yep. I'm down. I don't think I have anything like funny or anything like super powerful but I do have something super funny uh, I guess there's okay I've got one I've got a couple super powerful but I might just go with the funny oh you're making me not want to go for the powerful one then I think I'm good I think I have to go with the funny one yeah cool here's and... scarecrow Just Scarecrow. For six and tap, until end of turn, all damage done to me by flying creatures is reduced to zero. Okay. He's okay. a true blue Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, I don't know MJ, what do I want to do here. Um, still figuring out what I want. Okay. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm next in turn order, so... Just... Uh, that's not great. Scarecrow. I'm gonna feel like a complete and utter, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Sage of Hours. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna drop this Psychosis Crawler into play. I don't like that. What Psychosis Crawler? Is that its power toughness is equal to the amount of cards in your hand, and whenever you draw a card, it deals a damage to any target Ooh. or to every opponent? Every opponent. Every opponent. Every opponent. Okay. And then we all mill a card because you put a you put a permanent to play. Yep. Uh, goodbye, Island. Bye, Hive Mind. I just wanted to deck myself, but you've chosen violence. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Did you mill one, Chris? Wait, 
Uh, yeah, I am now. And it's another land. That's fine. And that's my turn, so I'll pass. Okay, so big untap, upkeep, that pact of ghouls or whatever. Uh, I'll target... I'll target MJ. MJ, didn't you say you only had two creatures in your grave? Yes. Cool. Uh, so, because I've got nine, uh, I will bring back my... It goes back to hand? Uh, it goes to your hand, yeah. Uh, I'll bring back Sakashima. I was going to grab the Hellkite Tyrant, but no. I've chosen violence. So back to draw two and play two lands. Yep. Sweet. Exotic Orchard. And oh, you, draw, you, draw, you draw a card when you play land too. Oh, th that I do. So I'll draw a card. Cool. Great Furnace. Draw another card. Okay. So I'm going to tap the full Wooburg. And an additional four to bring back Reaper King. And I'll pay one to re-equip him with Swiftfoot Boots. Any response? Get Swifty. No. Well, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to pay... Could okay, so I could still play the funny card. I think I'm gonna play the funny card. So I'm gonna tap this for the full Wooberg, and I'm gonna play Last Stand. Target opponent loses two life for each swamp I control, uh, which is two. So uh, MJ, I'm gonna say you lose four life. Yeah, I'll lose four life. Down to fifty-one. Uh, last stand will deal damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains I control, which is three. Um, how big is Sage of Ours? One one. Okay, yeah, I'm I, I'm gonna end up doing this. I I didn't want to, but say I need Sage of Ours, bro. I'm gonna uh, Narset's reversal. Okay, so I'm gonna get my four life back. In response. I need the Sage of Hours gone. Um, I wanted to stay. <laughs> in response, I will tap Exotic Orchard for a blue and tap these two, and I will displace, exile up to two target creatures I control. I'm, I'm just going to. Scarecrow. I'm going to say, oh, I can't sack Little Linger. No, I didn't think this through. No. Okay. What am uh, I throwing I'm away? Exile Scarecrow, and he'll immediately come back. Triggering Reaper okay. King, and I'll blow up Sage of Hours. <sighs> that being said, Last Stand goes back to my hand, and you get to cast it. True. So, target opponent loses two life for each swamp you control, which is none. I don't own any swamps, so... Last Stand deals damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains you control. That's also a zero. Well, but, you st but you still have to target something or someone, so... Yeah, so uh, who's going to lose zero? Okay, that's fair. <laughs> So I'm losing zero <laughs> life, and I'm taking zero damage. Uh, create yes. a 1-1 one, one green sapperling creature token for each forest you control. Hey, I can do that. That's one, that's and that's two. Oh, what creature is taking zero damage? Four. Due to, due to mountains. Uh, uh, he doesn't have any mountains. Well, I, yeah. I know, but see, you still have to target something. I know, he targeted we'll me. Si oh, we'll target creature. Target creature. We'll creature. take Sithis. Okay. I'm going to draw a card then. Uh, there we go. And everyone loses a life. Okay. And yeah, I have one, two, three, four forests. So you get four sapperlings. Yes, also, did, Zuri's counter is going to go up. Lose a life from Psychosis Crawler. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, wait. You gain two life for each planes you control. I don't control any planes, so... And oh, yeah. <laughs> draw a card for each island you control, then discard oh. that many cards. Okay, so let's count again. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. I'm so upset. So that's six draw. Uh, and I will tap two to or a red and a green to play slow bad goblin tinkerer. I can sacrifice an artifact to make target artifact indestructible until end of turn. That's all my mana. Okay. Uh, I would have liked... Oh, no. Last stand goes back to my hand because of Narset's reversal. Um, Psychosis Crawler is big. Psychosis Crawler is very, very big. Uh, I don't have any good attacks, so I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw two cards. Everyone takes two damage. Okay. I'm, uh, this is up to 12 now. I'm going to play a snow-covered forest. So everyone mills one. Goodbye, Rattleblaze Scarecrow. Size and Perverter of Truth. Um, Coiling Oracle, goodbye. Oh, was there anyone that had fewer creatures than you in Grave for the pack? Uh, no, I had two. I had four. Okay, so you, I don't, unless uh, yeah, I had four as well. Okay, I so you wouldn't get well. anything back. I will choose you, Tyler, just because, <laughs> and I get nothing. But I have to choose. I have to. I do have to target someone for that. So, gonna tap one here. I'm going to play an Authority of the Consoles oh, that no. triggers Sithis. I'm going to gain a life, draw a card. Everyone loses a life. Oh, I forgot to drop a card off Snow-Covered Forest. Draw a Horn of Greed, so I, that's actually two. Two damage and, yeah, two damage. I will play another Forest for my turn. I'm going to draw oh, another. Do we mill for Authority Consoles? Uh, yes. Yes. So I'm going to draw another card off Forest, and then everyone takes another damage. I did just take that damage. And milling for Authority of Consoles, goodbye, Scrap Trawler. Oh. Infect, I see. <laughs> yes, but I didn't want to play Infect. That's not fun. <laughs> Most of this deck is Infect. Hmm. Someone chose violence this morning, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I chose hugs. That, that's why we like you, Fridge. Yes, yes. This is why you. Okay, to friends. be fair, I haven't played a single thing with Infect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna cast a Bonds Immortality, so I can shut off Hexproof and Indestructible by paying a single green. I'm gonna can trip off of it, so that's one damage. So everyone mills one. I draw a card. I gain a life. I'm going to draw another card off Bonds and Mortality, so everyone takes two damage. Goodbye, Joy Rose Familiar. If Man, this my, stupid crawler is what kills me, I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Then I'm going to tap this Winding Canyons and this play. Actually, I'm not going to tap the plants. I'm going to tap the Snow Covered Forest so it does something. I'm going to play a Selesnia Signet, so that'll. Mill everyone else for one again. Goodbye, Ethereum Sculptor. Story Goodbye, another island. Okay, then... I'm not even keeping track of where Psychosis Crawler is at the moment. I'll figure it out when I'm done. Man, the combo with Folio of Fancies. Let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to tap one, two. I'm going to cat recast my Dawn of Hope. That'll mill everyone for one. I draw a card and I gain a life. Goodbye, Felden of the Third Path. Another Genesis. Then going to tap another. Actually, I'm going to tap one of these forests into my Selesnia Signet. I'm going to cast Intangible Virtue, so all my creature tokens get plus one, plus one, have Vigilance, because I totally need that. Goodbye, draw another card. Citadel. 
I'm Goodbye, going Fraser Chandler. I'm gonna tap one. I'm gonna play Hidden Gibbons. Goodbye, Island. So I'm gonna draw another card. Goodbye, and Beastmaster Ascension. <laughs> Swiftwater Cliffs. How much? Wait, how much damage should I have taken? Uh, intangible for. Oh, I need to take two more. So I've taken okay. damage from the yeah. Gibbon from. Because you've been drawing a one, card two, on you. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From... So I'm good. Yeah. Okay, and I'm one yeah. above Tyler. You should so. be fine there, Tyler. Um. Then I'm going to. Tap two. I am going to lignify the Glenolendra Archmage. Um, in response, I'm still going to draw a card and gain a life, so that still goes off. So we still All right, in don't... response, I'm just going to sack her to counter that. Okay. I thought you couldn't. Hmm? You 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 can't oh, yeah, sack right. Anna. Yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. So she just becomes a zero four. Yep, zero With four. However many plus one plus one counters oh, were on. Does it. she keep her plus ones? Yeah, yeah she, she keeps she keeps cool. that, but she has no abilities. So we all lose a life and middle another card, though. Goodbye, yeah. Frontier Bivouac. Front, front to Mythos. Goodbye, Viral Drake. So she's, what, okay. 7-Eleven? Yes. They have good Slurpees. I will... Uh, let's see. Oh, it's nice. Six, six mana. I'm going to just pass my turn over to you, Chris. I'm crying on the inside right now, just so you know. The Glenelindra was my win con this round, man, and you just... Mm. Mm. MJ, how many cards do you have in your hand? I currently have 12 cards in my hand, and I know what you're going to do with that, so... Do what? I don't know. You're going to make me draw more cards. That's what you're going to make me do. How do you I mean, only I do have just... 12 in hand? Because I've been playing as many as I draw. Are we still drawing two? Yeah, drawing two and playing two lands. Cool. But is it all... What is it that authority is making come in tapped? Uh, just creatures. And then every time a creature enters the battlefield in my control, I gain a life. Okay, so I really, 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 really think this turn is going to be a lot of fun for me. Hopefully, maybe. Um, so we're going to tap Soul Ring for two colorless. And we're going to use Land of War Reborn for the green. And we're going to play Scoot Swarm. Uh, scoot Scoot! That's bad. Scoot Scoot. It's whenever a creature enters the battlefield under one of his opponent's controls, he gains a life. Yeah. So oh. Scoot Swarm gains him a life, and Scoot Swarm comes You want to take that back? Because uh, otherwise I'm going to gain some serious life. Yeah, off of I'd hold on, to, hold on to it for this go-around, Chris. I'll leave it on field... I guess, okay, but I'm not going to play any land. Up. It's fine. It's tap. Comes in tap, too. That's fine. Yeah, no, I was like, don't do that. I just pulled up what authority <sighs> does. I was going to make so many. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. It's um, the reason then I will tap that thing two being green. In historic is like the only thing that the minute somebody plays authority of the consoles, when I'm playing historic storm, I have to scoop that in there. Jesus. Two green and a colorless. I'll use command tower for colorless. And I will play Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. <coughs> I will plus one her. And I'm sorry you're going to gain another life for that, I guess. Oh, do you get a plant? Uh, yeah, I get a little plant creature. And then he gets his counters. The plant is also tapped. Do you, do you, yes. do you still have your, your sapperlings, too? Hmm? You would, you, your four sapperlings. Oh, that's what that little four yep. was. Yes. There's so much going on. All right. We'll put those a little closer here so we can all see them. There we go. And I will tap four, I guess. Since we'll do one blue and three forests. For... Mm, now we're going to go ahead and tap two more and just play Contagion Engine. Okay. And then... I think I'm going to move to combat and put... 
15 counters on Scoot. Scoot, Scoot? Scoot, Scoot. Scoot, my boot. And then second main. I really want to play lands. Because mm, then I can do stuff. Let's see, I have four islands, so I'll tap those four. And I'll Contagion Engine uh, tap that, and I will proliferate twice. So Azuri is going to get two more. Scoot is going to get two more. Okay. This is going to get two more. And uh, Nissa is going to get two more. Now, and then... I feel like I should tell you something, but I don't know if I should. You can I mean, that's up counters. to you. You can the counters on Sithis. She has uh, a negative one, negative one. Since you told me that, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> go, okay. go ahead. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot that I had put that on there, honestly, that was so long ago. All right, uh, and I'll just pass her into fridge. Okay. I will untap my lands. I will draw two cards. Okay. Oh, I completely missed missed Oath of Ghouls. Oh, it's my own it's my own thing. And I can't even I don't remember it. One, two, three, four. Uh, everyone gained one life. I uh, I tapped it for green. And Gur's gonna go on an adventure. Okay. I'll play Victory Chimes. I will play Gyre Reach Sanctum, and I will draw a card for that. And then I will play Impulsive Maneuvers. Whenever a creature attacks, flip a coin. If you win the flip, next time that creature would deal combat damage this turn, it deals double that damage. If you lose the flip, the next time that creature would deal combat damage this turn, prevent that damage. Oh. Neat. Fantastic. Gonna play Temple of Malice. I will scry one. I'll put that on the bottom. And then I will draw a card. I will play four for Gear Poor Ori. Uh, you may play you play additional land each of your turns. You may play draw oh no, you only draw if you're less than less. I play Temple of Plenty. I will scry. Yeah, we'll leave that there. What does the Ori do? Uh, each player may play an additional land on, on each of his or her turns. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, that player draws three cards. Okay, that part doesn't matter. So we're all start of turn drawing two and playing three lands now. And we're back to. Yeah, I thought we were back to yeah. drawing three now. No, just still just two lands. Okay. Just drawing two. I'm going to pay two for Helm of Awakening. All spells cost one zero zero less. They cost one generic less. Yep, one colorless, I guess. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah one color. So it just no. I was just, gonna pay, I was just clarifying. I'm gonna pay seven again for Gauls to, Gur to go on another adventure. Okay, Soul Ring. Awakening. We give each player's upkeep, untap all creatures and lands. 
and fecundity. Never a creature is put into a, a, a graveyard that creatures control may draw a card. Guys! Man, those dogs are loud. And then I will tap the soul ring for a howling mine. Okay, so now we're drawing three again. We're drawing three. Yes. Three. Okay. And I believe that's my turn. Okay, on your end step there, Fridge, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to flash in this omen of the hunt. Actually, it doesn't go to my graveyard, so I'm going to search for basic land. Everyone mills two. Oh, yeah. Let me lose the life, right? I can close things out. Uh, I've got the plans. What's going on? Evolution I just, sage. I doubling just uh, them. ramped with omen of the hunt, flashed it in to okay. get a land. So then you're going to mill two. Uh, and goodbye then, watch wing and goodbye termorphic. So does that that doesn't trigger howling mind, does it? Or sorry, horn of greed. No, it's when you, it's when you play a land. It's like okay, uh, I play uh, land. Uh, All right, cool. yeah. So end of my turn, um, it goes to Tyler, and beginning of his upkeep, you all untap all of our lands and creatures. <laughs> nice. Uh, Unfortunately, does not include artifact crying. No, it does not. I'm just going except for my so. except for my victory shrines. Um, and for that oath of ghouls, I will target. I don't know why I'm taking my library. I will target quarantine. Yep. I'm pretty sure I've still got more creatures in my grave than you. I only have two. So. Yep. There we go. I've only ever had two. Uh, and I'm gonna bring back my spark double. So I'm drawing three. Oh, hello. And I get to play three lands. And every time I play a land, I get to draw a card. Cool. Yep, I'm and all your all your spells cost one colorless less. Planes. I will also play a planes, and everyone will lose a life. You mean Mill? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, and, and lose a life because I drew a card. Goodbye, Incubation Druid. Oh. Okay. Oh, nope. Okay. All right. So everything is three or one generic less. So we're going to go blue and two. Spark double. Stop being Reaper King. Reaper King trigger. I uh, let's blow up Psychosis Crawler. Actually, I'm going to respond. I'm going to activate Bonds of Mortality. I am going to make Reaper King very, very targetable. I'm going to tap two and attempt to disenchant. Uh, in response, I will sacrifice Scarecrow to give him indestructible again, <laughs> or to give okay. him indestructible. Let's see if I have a response to that. See, he's got hex proof. Hmm. Do I want to do anything? Yeah, I can't do anything about that, so I'm going to let it go to the graveyard. In response, I'm going to tap four and uh, just proliferate with contagion class. Um, I'm gonna go. Since we're all res since we're all responding, I'll respond. I'll pay two. <laughs> Each player draws a card. Hey. I like oh, that. Oh, hey, cool. I can play. There's my third land for the turn. Draw a card. And I will proliferate the neg one, neg one on uh, <laughs> your commander. Uh, blue. And tap the Sisage ring for Sakashima. Copying Reaper King. I'm going to blow up the intangible virtue. Your creatures are in a buffalo tap, by the way, Tyler. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm blow gonna up get into life. The intangible virtue, and I'm gonna blow up the authority of the consoles. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna tap three, and I am going to beast within your Reaper King before that goes off. He's indestructible because of slow bat. Right, so I'm gonna blow up your spark double then. 
Uh, I will sacrifice this age ring to make uh, spark double indestructible. Okay. So that. Uh, I will tap two for Scarecrow. Uh, let's blow up Altar of the Brood. Okay. Actually, I should have been drawing multiple cards off of this, off these things. I'm going to draw two more off Shaper Sanctuary since my stuff was getting targeted. This is going to blow up two more things. Uh, I'll also blow up the Shaper Sanctuary and the Burgeoning. Okay. I'm going to knock you more. back down to our level. Okay. Um, white. White and one for Irregular Cohort who will enter with, represented by this servo, a 2-2 two -two changeling, which are both scarecrow, so I get to blow up six things. We'll blow up the Helm of Obedience. Uh, we'll blow up Azuri. No. We're gonna, we have to blow up the Scoot Swarm. No, my other baby. I'm gonna blow up the Bonds of Mortality. Um, I'm gonna before I'm gonna tap one and I'm going to make your I'm gonna make Reaper King. Actually, I, I I don't have to do that. It's already till end of turn anyway, so everything is still targetable. Uh, uh, for my fifth, I'll blow up that red enchantment that Fridge played that flips coins. Uh, and for my six, I'll blow um, up fecundity fecundity. However, it's pronounced. Okay, uh, I was gonna say, um, Chris, if you put your scoot score, you can draw a card from. F F oh yeah, day. that was still in play when that happened. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, and I should have drawn an additional card because Persith is dying too. Off of that. Okay. Two mana. Wing rattle scarecrow. Trigger all three of my Reaper Kings. Uh, we'll blow up Azuri. That's already already dead. Oh, I'm okay. just having them there so you can see the counters. That's all. Gotcha. Uh, in, that case... in response, in response, I'm gonna have response. We we'll pay two. Everyone draw two cards. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'll, I'll blow up the away. contagion yeah. engine. I'll Goodbye. blow up. That white enchantment that uh, MJ's got. I'm going to respond to that. I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to create a human. Actually, just create a soldier token off of that. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do that uh, twice. Yeah, Sweet. so now I'm going to have two soldiers. Uh, and my third target, I'll blow up the Horn of Greed. Bye, Horn. You trumpeted well. Okay. Uh, oh, I've got to play full price for everything now. Two. For Lockjaw Snapper, triggering all three Reaper Kings. Uh, we'll blow up Glenelendra. Who, which will also get rid of the Lignify. Uh, and for the other two, we'll blow up the two soldier tokens. Why would you blow up Glenelendra? You're just going to lose to it. Good job. I'm good. No, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't come back because it, it, it lost its abilities. Well, it can. Unless... Oh, I mean, it gets its abilities back. But... 
Oh, goes into the graveyard, right? Or... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Neg one, neg one. And we'll play five for Blaze Thorn Scarecrow. Uh, trigger my three. We'll blow up the Bold Weir Intimidators or Recruiters or whatever their name is. Uh, we'll blow up the Hidden Enchantment. And we'll okay. blow up Glenelendra again. Oh, my baby. And I think that's all of my mana. Uh, Reaper King is going to attack MJ for six. Okay, I will take six. I have no response. And that is everything. Okay. On your end step, I'm going to tap three. I'm going to sacrifice my omen of the hunt to scry two. I'm going to put these on the bottom. And then in response, I'm going to pay two. If everyone draw a card, discard a card. Okay. Uh, good by Arcane Adaptation. By Tipo Triumph. Um, can I get rid of this planes? Okay, I'm going to untap. Now, how many cards and how many lands are we allowed to do now? I think it's still draw uh, three, play three. Yeah, so draw three, the, play three. And is the graveyard taps. effect still in, or no? Well, I, I yes. don't have enough creatures to Sweet. make it a difference, so I'm going to draw but a everyone card. But ta everyone taps lands and creatures again. Okay, one, Wait, why two. does everyone untap their stuff? Awakening. Oh, is Awakening still around? You, you, you didn't blow it up and all the things. Sweet. <laughs> Going to first tap four. I'm going to recast actually, yeah. No. No, I'm not going to do that. That's, that'd be stupid. I am going to... Tap five. Going to attempt to cast End Hostilities to destroy all creatures that are not enchanted. Uh, in response, slow bad, I'm going to sacrifice three of my Scarecrows to make these three indestructible. Oh, sorry, destroy all creatures and all permanents attached to creatures. My bad. I'll sacrifice this to also make Swiftfoot Boots indestructible. And I'll sacrifice Lockjaw Snapper to make my Scarecrow indestructible. And slow so, bad goes. So all creatures and permanents attached, attached you said? Creatures, yes. Okay, just making sure all my little tokens are gone. Okay. Bye, girl. Goodbye, girl. Okay, in that case, I'm going to tap one. I'm going to Swords to Plowshares. Your spark double there, Tyler. Yep, that that happens. Is Swords gain life? or? Yeah, gain life. So for that, for its power, it had a plus one, plus one counter, which made it a 7-7, seven, seven, plus the two other Reaper Kings, giving it plus two, plus two, so I gain nine. Yep. Then I'm going to tap... Four, I'm going to recast Sithis for my command zone. Then I'm going to tap my Selesnya Sanctuary. Oh, I'm uh, stupid. I could have. Seen I that. will play Dark Seal Mutation on Sakashima. Um, in response, I should have done this before. I'm going to pay one and I'm going to sacrifice Sakashima to Scarecrow to draw a card. I'm going to gain a life and draw a card. Then I'm going to tap the Sun Petal Grove and this forest. I'm going to play Righteous Aura. I can pay white and pay two life. Next time a source of my choice would deal damage to might me this turn, I can prevent that damage. That triggers Sithis. I'm going to draw my card. Going to pay one. I'm going to play Hidden Herd. If anyone plays a non-basic land, it'll become a 3-3 three, three creature. Gain a life, draw a card. Hmm. 
I'm going to pay one. And I'm going to suspend search for tomorrow. With two counters on it. Then, oh, is there anything else I want to do? Everything untaps, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh boy, that's that's unfortunate. Except artifacts, landing Except creatures. Artifacts. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tap two. I'm going to play a mirror shield. And I'm going to attempt to equip it to Sithis, if everyone's okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now she has hexproof, and I will end my turn. I'm gonna, we're gonna untap every. Oh, I did have two mana. Oh well. I'll start on the untapping. Yeah, actually, actually, I still have two mana. Okay. I, my winding cannons was hiding under there. Um, I'm gonna tap. To my last two mana, and I'm going to cast a seal of cleansing. I can sack and destroy target artifact or enchantment. I'm going to draw a card and gain a life, and now I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to tap two and have each player draw a card, and okay. all my players get life. Gain a life, is that what you said, Fridge? Yep. Okay. Um, end of turn, I will tap three, and I will thirst for knowledge. Draw, I will draw three cards and then discard two cards unless I discard an artifact. Okay. And I'm going to discard this Arcane Signet. And we all okay. untap all of our lands. Untap. Uh, Gravy artifact still in play where I get to pull a creature? Yep. Targeting... Uh, oh, I can't see your day. Quarantine? Yeah, I have, what, three? Sage of Hours is going to come back. Any response? Check, make sure on that one. One, two, three. I currently have three in the graveyard. Yeah. I've got like 12. Two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. I don't need to count anymore. <laughs> uh, so does the creature come in before the draw step or? It goes to your hand. Oh, okay, cool. All right, and drawing three. All righty. <sighs> I'm going to tap an island and command tower to play Sage of Hours. Any response? Uh, mm -hmm. I got nothing. Okay. And I will tap, let's see, is there a cost six more now? So I'll tap 10, three islands, six islands, Land of War Reborn, Hinterland, I've been leaving it on Harbor, two Soaring, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm actually going to take two islands out of that and use three forests for the 10th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, four Azuri. I uh, will play my lands per turn, which will be a forest and Temple of Mystery will come in tapped. There's your, there's your non basic land, MJ. Yep. My hidden herd has appeared as a three. Yeah. I choose violence with my three three hidden creature. <laughs> What right. is on your commander right now, MJ? Mirror shield, so she has X proof. Gotcha. I will tap three. Yeah, okay. I'll tap and play Unwinding Clock. I know egg facts. Anyway. I will plus one Nissa. So I'll get another little plant token, That's which will give a Zuri another token. Not a token, but a little experience counter. Uh, going, Moving to combat, I'm putting all of those on Sage of Hours. 
Chris, what yes. is your intention with Sage of Hours? I mean, it's it's infinite turns. Do you okay. have the means of ending the game now with infinite turns? Uh, if I keep drawing and playing, probably. Well, how many cards do you have in your grave, in your in your library? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. How many cards in your hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Y'all want me to play it out? Do we all just lose here? I mean, I could, I, I, I could only make him mill nine cards or make him draw ten. Because I'm pretty sure I can... If he doesn't win this now, I'm blowing up everybody's boards, land included, on my turn. So it's either end the turn now, or I'm probably going to end the game on my turn. Or end the game now, or I'm probably ending it on my... Yeah, no, what I was saying was, uh, if he doesn't end the game now, I probably will on my turn. Yeah, unless anybody has answers, I'll keep playing turns if y'all want. Up to you. Um, I have no instance in my hand, so unless I have the means of drawing cards, I don't think I can stop you. I my all of my stuff is sorcery speed. So the only only thing, only thing I have is, is that um I mean, you'd probably take me out after after the, after the first turn because I would just make you draw multiple cards. Well, cuz he's going to if he's taking infinite turns, he's just going to be able to start making stuff bigger and bigger with Azuri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I think it's fair to say if no one has any answers, I think Chris wins here. MJ? I mean, I mean, I can, okay, how about this? Everyone draws a card, see if you can find an answer. Nope. <laughs> that won't do it. Okay. Wait, do draw I draw a card, card too? Yep. Okay. Draw Everyone draw card. a card and discard a card. Yep. Okay. Uh, negative. Okay, I'm trying to help out now. No, I feel ya. Okay, everyone draw seven cards. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Nope. Well, I tried. If I he's... Tried. If he's constantly taking extra turns, doesn't them? Oh no, that's because Folio won't untap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can, I'll I'll be able to untap my Makokoro and my Gaia Reach, but I'm, I'll make I'll make him draw an extra five cards. Yeah, but he could also just you have no blockers. He could just kill yeah, you he... with Azuri first. Yep. So I mean, unless we have an answer right now, I think this goes to Chris. Because I currently don't. I need it to be my turn in order to clear everyone's board. I don't have anything, so I'm... It's on you, MJ. Nope, got nothing. I think in that case, assuming life totals, uh, I think MJ would come in second, I'd take third, and Fridge would take fourth, and Chris would win. I did not think I was going to win. Hey, infinite turns is certainly a thing. It is. Bubble. Oh, I can't. GG. GG. I was really scared of every single one of you, not going to lie. GG. Uh, all I needed for it was to get to be my turn, and I was going to wake the past to bring back all of my scarecrows. Oh, God. Yeah, your scarecrows. Oh, my God. It's such so a gross I deck. Was, I was going to... I had a bunch of things. I was going to bring back Sakashima... And I was just, I was going to blow up everybody's boards. Good God. Anyways, y'all, that is Commander Coliseum. And on his first outing, we got victory by Chris. Despite everyone having so many cards in hand. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining me today. Thanks for coming back, Fridge. Thanks for coming on, MJ. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. 
Oh, that was super Had fun. a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be linking to everybody's uh, everybody's content down in the description below. Uh, Twitter accounts, Twitch pages, everything like that, as well as if you guys could all shoot me the deck lists that you guys were using. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I sure can. that has been it for this episode of Commander Coliseum. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, be sure to leave us a like, leave us a comment, shoot us a sub. Uh... Uh, Commander Coliseum now goes up twice a month as opposed to just once a month. Uh, and I've got plenty of decks that are waiting for their chance to, to shine. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Uh, I have been your host, Tyler, and I will catch you all next time. Peace! <laughs>